He is doing an amazing job, um, and he freehand drew that. I think you should be really proud. Okay, so we're watching Evil Speak. And Dean's gonna try his first pumpkin. You're gonna be able to do it. I'm, I'm pretty shit at mine. Here's mine. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet. Okay, this movie is getting a bit cray. I want to show you guys quickly, I got these carving pumpkin tools just from eBay. I think they were like six bucks. It took them three months to be delivered, but <laughs> hopefully this will improve my carving this year. I'm a little bit worried about my design. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. It, it kind of looks okay on camera, but it looks pretty jacked in person. We'll see. It's always good to go a little bit more ambitious than simple, I feel like, with these ones, because you could get a really good payoff. <laughs> We just finished Evil Speak. Uh, hmm. <laughs> um, let me give you an update first on my pumpkin. I fucked up the other side, so I'm gonna go with just a simple skull. After I just like ate my words saying that I, um, I'm gonna try something more elaborate. <laughs> Didn't work out for me. I was trying to rush it. Um, but Dean's doing really well. I think yours looks sick, and I've never done the Oogie Boogie Man, so that's awesome. And that's his first pumpkin. He, he's doing an amazing job. Um, and he freehand drew that. I think you should be really proud. Evil Speak is about, uh, like an outcast guy, um, who is at a military school. He kind of stumbles upon a satanic book and, uh, stay with me. He's kind of given the option to use black magic. I would say that's kind of what it's about. Uh, there's also, I'm going to be really, like, kind of give a little bit of a spoiler. It doesn't really change the storyline, but... Um, it provides different options. He has this dog that he gets during the film and you as a horror fan watching a movie that is about a satanic cult are just waiting to see what's gonna happen to this fucking dog. I feel like this film is just one of those 80s kind of movies that you're just going along for the ride. Uh, it's nothing extremely original. One movie it did remind me of though is Carrie because of the whole setup. It's like this character who's the outcast, getting picked on by everybody, and then he kind of snaps, and uh, he's given the option to like go full fucking um, psycho, and yeah. <laughs> uh, there's also a huge final act, uh, which the whole movie is quite slow and silent, and it leads to this, and it's pretty epic, and it goes for a long time, and there's lots of blood and guts and gore. So it's definitely worth hanging around for that. But I wasn't really gripped by the main character. I can't really relate. Military school kid going through all that shit. Like, I, it just for me personally, I just couldn't... The character wasn't gripping enough. You just didn't really get... Except for him being complete victim, you didn't really get to know any of his personality. Uh, so it was kind of hard to watch in that respect. One thing I would say is that the film has some really good cuts. Uh, there's some really interesting editing, and you'll see that in like the first scene, what it leads to. I think that was really cool. Um, and I really liked the set design and the special effects. I thought they were all done really cool. Amazing blood, amazing guts, an awesome human heart. A plus on that. Uh, some interesting facts about this film. The computer that Stanley uses in the film is actually uh, like a really popular computer around the time. I believe it's called the Apple II, uh, which I think is really funny if you uh, were not around in the 80s. I wasn't around in the 80s and it's really interesting to look back and uh, see that kind of computer was actually the kind of computer being used at that time which is insane. Um, and also this film was banned in the UK during the 1980s, so when it was released. So I don't think it is that crazy, but I guess the satanic themes might uh, put some people off. Uh, so this film was suggested to me by my friend Alex, who is from Sydney. Hi, Alex. Um, I can actually see why he loves this film so much, just because I know he's very much into the whole satanic cult. I know he loves his Marilyn Manson. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a joke, uh, but uh, I think because of uh, the military background in this film, 
Um, and the slow start getting into it. When I say this film is a lot like Carrie, obviously Carrie is more my style because I can relate more to being a female. Um, and I just felt like the main character wasn't as gripping for me. So because of that, I'm probably going to give it a five. I, I do think if you're into 80s films that have satanic uh, themes and good uh, special effects, if you like that kind of thing, you'll love this. Uh, but for me, it just was a really slow start. And um, yeah, it was just really amazing character I didn't really care too much I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see the finished look of the pumpkin uh, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging with me I also want to say on the 31st I'm gonna leave uh, the comments open for a Q&A and that way I will actually respond to your comments in another video my wrap-up um, 31 days of horror but I wanted to make sure you guys knew that because you guys who have been watching all of these I really want to give you the opportunity to give me questions not just everybody because I really appreciate that you've stuck with me and I think that you'll have really good questions if you watched the whole month. But that's all for today and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another 31 Days of Horror. Bye!